Who doesn't want to win the lottery? To get rich quick. What if I told you you could become a millionaire just by doing some simple math? But before we begin, we must go over a basic mathematical concept. Prime numbers. Prime numbers are all the whole numbers that are only divisible by themselves and by one. For example, the number 7 is a prime, but 6 isn't because it is divisible by 3 and 2. In fact, there are infinite prime numbers. What you see here is just the primes until 10,000. Just for the example, the largest prime number that we know of is this. It has over 24 million digits. After we got that down, let's move on to the cash. Here is my proposition. Prove one simple conjecture and you will win a 1 million dollar prize. Here is the conjecture. Every evening the joint greater than 2 can be expressed as the sum of 2 primes. For example, 6 can be expressed as 3 plus 3 and 8 can be expressed as 5 plus 3. Sounds easy enough to prove, right? Well, actually, it's not that easy. Because it's not enough to show that it works, like I just did. You have to prove that this conjecture is true for every even integer over 2. This conjecture is one of the oldest and best known unsolved problems in all of mathematics. It is called Goldbach's Conjecture and it was proposed in 1742 by Christian Goldbach in a letter to Leonard Euler who was like the Michael Jordan of mathematics at the time. Although it was proved by computers to be true until astronomically large numbers, it has never been proven to be true indefinitely. A lot of mathematicians tried to prove it, but to no avail. In 1999, a novel was published about the nephew of a man who tried to prove this legendary conjecture. In response to the book, the publisher offered a $1 million prize to anyone who proved the conjecture. The contest was open between 2000 and 2002 and no one claimed the prize. And till this day, the conjecture remains unproven. But who knows, maybe one of you could be the next Carl Friedrich Gauss and solve this 250-year-old puzzle and bring pride to himself, the math community, and the science world.